Hi, this is Chris from VitaminCM.com, and today we're going to be talking about RSS feeds and getting data out of static web pages that do not provide an RSS feed and creating a feed so that you can view updates in your feed reader. We're going to use a service called Dapper, which is at dapper.net to do this. This service allows you to take data out of static pages and turn them into an RSS feed. So I'm going to click this button called create a new app. First thing you need is the URL of the page. So I'm going to go over here and I'm looking at realtor.com. Realtor.com does not provide an RSS feed of listings. So I search for property in a town by my area. Uh, if I was looking for a new home, I might want to see constant updates of the, the homes that meet my criteria. So I put in my criteria. So what I'm going to do is copy the URL. Then I'll go back to Dapper and I'll paste the URL in, say next step. It brings up a preview of the URL that you pasted in into this window. So you need to add it to the basket. Click add to basket and you can add multiple pages if you want. I'm only going to use this one. So now I'm going to go to the next step. When you click this you get a little warning that you need to add more pages. I've never used more than one and I never have a problem with it. So click OK. It brings up another preview of the page and if you notice as I move my cursor around it puts little orange boxes around things and this is looking for areas of content on the page that it thinks I want to use for my feed. So the first thing I want to do is grab this little bit of information here that has the price of the house, the bedrooms, bathrooms, square feet, and property size. So this is pretty important. And you notice once I clicked on that, it put little orange boxes around all the things like that and all the listings, which is great because I want to use this as my first field. So I'll go down here and I'll click Save Field, and I'll give it a name. Now the next thing I want to do is get the picture of the listing. So I'll click this and notice what it does. It gets all the pictures and you can see down here the field that I grabbed. So I want to save this and I'll give it a name. The next thing I want to grab is the description from the listing. So I'll go over here and I'll grab this block of text. I'll scroll down a little, grab this block of text, grab this block. Now, it grabbed a bunch of things that I didn't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and get rid of these fields that I didn't want. So it's pretty smart about it. As I start to do that, you'll notice it it really narrows it down to just the descriptions of the property. So I'll say save field and I'll say three description. And I'm not going to say the town name because I already know what town I'm looking in so I'm, I'm fine with that. So once I get all the fields that I want I'll click next step and you see what my listings look like. They have the, uh, the image, the title, the description, for all the different listings. So I want to pull in title, image, description, save this as a group, and I'm going to call this listing. And now I move on to the next step, and I'll call this uh, house hunt. So I'll save my DAP. So after I save it, it brings you back to this page. It gives you a little preview of the page that you use to create it. And then in here it says use this DAP. So I want to click the format. I want it as an RSS feed. So I'll say, and then I can go here and just either click the RSS button or copy the RSS link here. And I'm going to go over here to my, uh, Google Reader and say add a subscription, paste in the URL, 
and there's my feed. So now anytime that there's updates, I can come in and read this and I'll see the price, the bedrooms, the bathroom, square feet, I get my image, I get my description. So it's a nice way to take data out of a page that does not provide an RSS feed and scrape out the things you need and make an RSS feed. As And if you compare it to what I was looking at before, all this garbage that I don't care anything about. I really don't feel like seeing ads for all these realtors or any of this stuff. I just want to see the houses, the price, and the details. So it's a really nice way to just extract the data you need out of a page and send it to a convenient place like your feed.